me down here in Pennsylvania. We do this a lot of stuff in Pennsylvania. We're planting a lot of peanuts. I'm going to sell a lot of tree trees, huh? I'm kidding. We're planting pineapples in the front of a mixed garden. There used to be a lot of ornamentals with bromeliads, orchids, and ferns. This is third inside design. Welcome to our design. Okay, so what we've basically done is we've built this up. Pineapples in here. Las piñas. Uh, these are the yellow, then we have cone sugar loaf, Florida special, basically mixing it up. And what we're doing now is we're, we built our little mounds, add a little bit of chicken manure, then we'll put micro and fungi, and we're going to put the uh, plants in. So I'm going to shut up and stop talking and get to, to doing it. Grab enough pineapple for one, two, three, four, four. Right. No, three, two, one. Two, one. Okay, okay. Thank you, director. So here. Pineapples notoriously have very uh, wispy and wimpy roots. They are bromeliads. Bromeliads are either epiphytic or terrestrial. These just happen to be terrestrial. And I mean, they grow in the soil and the roots are kind of wimpy. So if you can start them from the top in a pot like we do, or you can also do it in water like some people do, but that's not our uh, chosen method. So get the roots. Once you do, you just separate the middle out. I always start in the middle. Whatever I'm doing, any kind of fruit tree, potting up, always the middle and then move out. Um, I tend to see the tap root spins around. If we look here, this is not tap root, but this is probably the main root of this bromeliad. So we're at about the same level, so we're not planting too low and sinking them. And you kind of stagger. Just getting an idea, because I still have to put my micro as a fungi. You know, put a good bit down there. And then, we we'll get a little bit of an idea in there, and then we can walk with our other two right here. We can get an idea and see. Plant this little top. So, this is kind of a funny hack I found in Florida here. We are in Central Florida, Palo Beach, zone 9B slash 10A because if we go down the road, it's 10A. We're at right here, supposedly 9B. That being said, um, the pineapples, um, if you grow them from a top, it's usually about two and a half years. If you grow them from a slip sucker or ratoon, it's about a year and uh, three quarters till you get fruit. So either two and a half years from the top or a year and three quarters if you're growing um, the next gen pup. But once they get started, they do their thing every year. Not as big a pineapple. Micah, Micah. Yeah. So here's one that you can see what I was just talking about, the wispy roots. They haven't even pushed up with beautiful white roots starting. This was a top, complete top. I like to plant tops. They give you a bigger pineapple. You have to wait longer, but patience is a virtue. And then you can get the pups after that and then start the whole generation over. But I really do, and it's cool to watch the whole fruit grow. They're bromeliads. There used to be, I don't know how many different guzmanias, neoregalias, all kind of different bromeliads inside of acmeas. And they have been replaced by the one and only Edible bromeliad ananas bushes. So, there's one row. And since this one, we'll just tuck it in a little bit. Roots have not came out yet, but we peel the bottom of the whorl. Uh, pineapples grow in a whorl like this. We peel the bottom of them uh, to get a good section of uh, a midsection that you have the stem, that you have baby rootlets that you can then plant. Working. This is such a forgiving plant. One of Florida's first commercial fruit crops died in the Keys. Didn't literally die in the Keys, but the industry died in the Keys. Um, to cheap price coming from different spots in the Caribbean. Now it's dominated by Costa Rica. The market. But it starts, all the cool varieties come and they start from Florida, from the 1800s. Florida was a humongous pineapple producer. Here we are, right for this old print pineapple. 
same thing again we substantially built this up we like to build everything up there's wood keeping things high and dry plus we also want to put a lot of mulch and things will sink here also putting really good soil in here way above nematodes although they will still infiltrate really came out to be quite cool. Um, I really like planting pineapples. Pineapples are one of my favorite plants to work with. Very simple, very rudimentary, very easy. I forgot the mic out, so let's see. I get talking. I'm excited. Probably doesn't need it, but I just... Um, we do, because we can, and we can. Big healthy fat roots. Hopefully these things will be high enough too where they don't. They come with this weird crown rot and or bacterial soft rot or something that stinks very bad like a bacteria and causes this funk for pineapples. So if we can have them high enough to where they don't have that. Oh yeah, I have a big one. For a second I thought I had the one gallon again. So an again another top. Actually this is not a top. This is either a slip or a sucker, not a red tune. This is from either the stem portion, the inflorescence, or uh, from right next to it, where the mother plant mid, mid stem was. Again, in and out, gorgeous roots, no ants. And you just kind of set in, and you can set up a back. Wow, really? We have literally like a production style Fenia patch in just a tiny spot, and we have a lot of pineapples we're growing in here. 